Okay, now it's time to talk about pressure targets. So we talked about flow target. Now pressure targets. So here, let's say this is approximate airway pressure. This is time. So instead of telling the patient, he achieved this flow and keep it constant. Remember, if the flow, we said, go to 60, for example, and go there and keep it there. Here, instead of setting the goal to be a flow, and remember, here, flow equal to proximal airway pressure minus alveolar pressure divided by resistance. Instead of making the flow as a constant, here we flip, we make the proximal airway pressure, sorry, the target. So basically here we tell the ventilator, we want you to achieve this pressure target, let's say 20, for example, centimeter HTO, and keep it through uh, the inspiratory cycle. And then when you terminate the cycle goes back, go back. So basically now this equation can be proximal airway pressure equal flow multiplied by resistance plus alveolar pressure. So this now will be constant. The ventilator goal now to deliver the breath by keeping the proximal airway pressure constant at this level throughout this cycle. So if there is any other changes, the ventilator has to adapt to keep this air is as it is. And as I said, the only thing the ventilator can control is this. So for example, let's say there was an increase in resistance. Let's say the patient here bite is biting the tube again. So that means the resistance here will go high, right? That means this should go high, but this is again not allowed. The ventilator has to stop this and keep it constant. So the only way to keep it is by going down on the flow. See, so the ventilator will come down on the flow rate because cannot control resistance, cannot control alveolar pressure. And vice versa, if let's say the patient during the inspiration decided to take an inspiratory effort, Remember, we said the ventilator will not respond to this trigger, but there will be a drop in the chest pressure. So this technically should drop. But again, the ventilator is not allowed to do this. So we we'll said, okay, we want to keep the pressure high, so let's increase the flow. See the relation between this and this, and that's why you cannot tell the ventilator at the same time to have uh, a pressure and flow target at the same time. It has to be this, or this you cannot have both at the same time but what do you think if we want to draw or represent the flow here what do you think the flow on the pressure target will be it's clearly the flow cannot be constant we just said that so the flow by default the ventilator will go immediately to the level as we start the inspiration immediately to a level and a peak that will bring the pressure to this level. And then the flow will start coming down like this until the breath is terminated. So by default, the flow in pressure target is decelerating ramp now you may wonder why right it's easy just look at this simply the proximal airway pressure has to stay constant as soon as we start the flow and the air flow into the alveoli this alveolar pressure will start going up so this technically should go up so to keep it constant the flow will start going so that's why the flow keeps dropping here, here, at, until it's terminated, because the alveolar pressure simply is going up. So with pressure target mode, the flow by default is decelerating ramp for that reason.